Welcome back. I'm Nicole BW, and this is Cave Factory. And last time it, we worked on the mixer and the presser behind this block. <laughs> it's hidden. Uh, last time, and ooh, I, mm, I don't know. Um, so I realized with infinite water, we can go ahead and uh now we get to actually grow our sugar crane sugar cane and so underneath the wall here next to the sand i do have water all along there so hopefully that will grow uh nice and tall i do need to end up putting down oops uh farmland so we can grow some wheat um bamboo like uh we should probably grow some cactus and some different stuff um maybe some potatoes and carrots just have a, a row of dirt or farmland next to the sand and just grow random things i think that would probably be the best thing to do um, but today we're going to work on um our blood magic again so in our Quest book. Uh, there is a thing that here where we do need to get some wheat, and the our thing that we put down from mine colonies did have hay bales, so now we have wheat, um, which is great. So let's get our reward for that. So we do have a cutting board now uh, that will help us in the future. Uh, we do need to make, uh, in here, mechanical belts. So this is used to transfer items. Um, and we need to have two shafts and connect them with the belt. I'm not sure how far apart they can be, like how what's the farthest. Um, but these are made with dried kelp. So I do have some kelp here. I'm going to go ahead, throw those in there to get those dry. Um, but before we do, ooh, I do need to be over here. Um, let's see. We need, uh, we need to get a speed rune because that was one of the quests. Uh, we are missing sugar, but I have a couple sugar canes, so that's fine. And we can do that. So there's our speed rune for that. And what's our reward? More blank slates. Awesome. Uh, we do need rune of sacrifice, and that'll get us some more reinforced slates, which is pretty nice. So let's see what we can do here so our rune of sacrifice takes gold blank runes um we needed the tier two uh blood orb so that was a block of redstone in the altar so i was able to do that i, I went ahead and did that um so there's that actually let we have enough for do we not have enough? Oh, we probably, um, there we go. And yeah, we have enough for eight of them. I thought we would replace the tier two runes with those. And um, yeah, there's our orb. There's the rest of the blank uh, runes. And we, have some blank slates left over which is pretty nice so we can get those off of there there's some more of those uh we do need to make our glowstone so let's go over here we need four blocks so we need 16 of them so there is our four blocks of those. What did we get? A block of gold. Nice. Um, and then there's a rune of capacity. What does that take? Three buckets and an imbued slate. Uh, we don't have imbued slates yet. 
We have the reinforced, but not the imbued. So let's go ahead and come down here. We need to replace these with uh, the, the other ones. Let's, let's go around here. Okay, so let's replace these with the sacrifice ones. Okay, so now we're back to where we are, but every time um, we kill a zombie, it will, or sacrifice a zombie, will end up filling up our tank faster, which is nice. So these, uh, let's see, the glowstone goes right where these torches are. Yes, yes. It's, it's one higher than the altar. So... The level of the altar is where our head is. So these go one higher. We also have to be out one. So everywhere where there's wood, those should be um, runes. So I'm going to go ahead and place those down. Actually, they can be air, I think. And the glowstone might help with lighting. So I'll just leave that like that. I'm going to change these out I don't know why I placed blocks there but I did okay okay so the glowstone is put down uh, we'll need to replace all of the wood with uh, the runes. So let's see if we actually need to fill in these columns or not. I don't think we will, but I'm not really sure actually. I, I really should make this area down here look a little nicer, but once we have it done, it can be closed off and we we won't have to worry about it um, I think that's all I I needed right so this should be okay it does still say a tier two so Let's see if we need to have these columns in here. Okay. Now it says tier three. So you do need to have the columns, which is kind of unfortunate because Will that work? Okay, that works. I need to light it up down there, but not enough where it comes through the hole and takes away our red spots there. So, I think eventually I'm going to cover this up and we'll just have a pathway down um, but now we're at tier three, which is awesome. So, ooh, they want us to do our first ritual. Shift right click with the ritual diviner in hand to select the ritual and place master ritual stone and right click it with the ritual diviner to place correct ritual stones in correct places. Then activate the ritual by right-clicking Master Ritual Stone with a weak activation crystal. Okay, but what does the Serenade of the Nether do? We need a weak activation crystal. So we need either a Lava Crystal or a Seared Melter.
Hmm. So, ooh, we don't have lava yet, so we're going to have to do the seared melter, right? Okay, so we're going to have to do the meltery anyway. Um, ritual stones is reinforced and blank slates. Okay. And a master ritual stone are ritual stones and blank slates. So we're going to need to do at least two sets of the ritual stones. Hmm. Interesting. We also do need to do the rune of capacity because and we need imbued slates which is tier three and we end up getting what four more of those does it use the buckets is the question interesting okay so we could do arcane ashes and that's, uh, let's see, redstone, white dye, gunpowder, and charcoal. Okay. Um, let's put these back. We might need this. So, redstone... Um, white dye comes from bone meal, correct? Okay. Redstone. Uh, white dye. Coal. And what was it? Gunpowder. Okay. So, let's... Uh, does it matter? I don't know if it matters what order they're in. And I did fill up my net, uh, network essence. Okay, so we have Arcane Ashes, which is good. Um, we could do the Grass Block which is wheat, bone meal, and dirt. We'll probably do that real quick as well. We now have a divination sigil, which is nice. We are going to need a water sigil, which means we need water re regent. And we need two water buckets and sugar for that. And we need, okay. Let me see if we can't do all of this stuff. Oh, what was I looking for? Dirt, bone meal, and seeds. Then we need a water bucket and uh, sugar. We need two water buckets. So gonna do the easy stuff first <laughs> then we'll do the hard stuff okay so in here let's do the grass block so this this and this uh we'll put that back in there our divination sigil Okay, we got plenty of that. So we have our grass block, which is awesome. And then we need sugar and two water buckets. And okay, it's not, it's fine. Or does it take it out after? Or does it matter? Oh, it takes it out after, okay. So there's that. All right. 
So a water sigil, we need a blank slate. Okay. Let me go grab our blank slates back. We just need the one. Um, okay, so we place this down. We put the reagent on there. And then we put the blank slate on there. And then I have done this part before. It spins around and then it spits it out. Yay! <laughs> So now we do have an infinite water bucket, but it's fine. We have infinite water. So I'm not going to use that. I would prefer not to. If I don't have to. So I think, let's see. Uh, sigil of the blood lamp. Oh, I see light. I can use... Um, yeah, so in order to use the infinite water, the water sigil, you will need to have your network, um, life essence in your network. Uh, the sigil, the blood lamp, I believe, places down light sources, like invisible light sources, um, if I remember correctly. Yikes. Uh, but it looks like uh, we are either going to have to do the smeltery and um oh the we can do the mechanical belt and then it's gonna end up being the ritual and then doing lava and we're gonna get nether quartz and obsidian yeah obsidian oh it's just a vanilla nether oh i hate the nether if you guys have never seen me before <laughs> I hate the nether I, I don't like it I do not like the nether I don't like it don't make me do it I don't want to do it um but yeah I'll do it if I have to but I'm not gonna like it I'm definitely not gonna like it so <laughs> uh that's enough about me complaining about the nether okay so I think have to have my inventory clean. I'm sorry, guys. Um, okay, the belt. We'll do that real quick because it's super easy. Uh, there is our mechanical belt, which is awesome. So in order to get into simple storage, which I would love to get into, I really like this mod, um, we do need to have nether quartz. So we do have to go down that path I think I'm going to um, get some more kelp. Uh, I think I'm going to make a kelp farm off camera. From what I understand, it has to be in water. Um, like they all have to be underwater. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. That's something new to me. Uh, so I might have to look up like what some good kelp farms are. I know we're going to have to automate it eventually. Um, but maybe just for right now make it manual i'm not really sure how i'm going to do that i do have access to sand now so i could make a bunch of glass so we could see um i don't want to make it automatic with like pistons and stuff i know i don't want to do that um but i think what i'm gonna to have to do is um make an imbued slate which is fine. It's going to just take me a little while. Um, and then make the ruin of capacity. See if it uses up my buckets. If it does, I'm going to be really sad, but that's fine. We have lots of iron and, um, replace some of the, the blank ones with some capacity ones, because I believe what we're going to have to do is start using more and more, um, so, yeah, I think that's going to be important is to up the capacity of our altar. So, yeah, I'll get that ready. Uh, so maybe next time we will do the ritual. Uh, I'm going to have to look into that and see what that does. If it's 
something where it turns the area into nether, then I, I obviously want to put it in a safe place away from just out in the open. Um, so, yeah, I'll have to think about that. Um, yeah, so I think what I'm going to work on between now and the next episode, making the room a little bigger, um, putting down some farmland, putting up a kelp farm, and um, making some of those capacity runes. Uh, yeah. At least a handful. I mean, we make one and we get, what, four more? So we could typically make five of them. So I think at least that. At least that. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I know uh, I need to make this area down here look better. But we are on our way, which is awesome. Um, I'm very excited about how far we've gotten through the quests in here. And then we can start working on the other sections. But we have a very long way to go to get to this. I don't know how we're going to do it. I really don't. I, I We're going to have to get our... We're going to have to put down the town hall and we're going to have to make it a level five town hall, which is super big and requires a lot of resources. Yeah. So mm, I'm going to have to think about all this stuff and figure out what we want the base to look like. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let me know what you think down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.